So g'day guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're heading up to the um, John Ball Gully. We're going on the Millennium Track which is out near Tory Mouth. Yeah, so we'll go and check it out, eh? Yeah, so here we are again back on the trail guys. So we're just uh, doing this uh, Millennium Track. We're going to hike to a place called John Ball Gully. Just got a lovely wee uh, picnic spot. Uh, some awesome views on the way. Just following the Tyree River from Tyree Mouth all the way along. There's one wee view there, just looking out to the uh, Tyree Mouth and in the bridge. Yes, if you're not familiar with this walk, it's actually a really lovely walk. Um, most people of average fitness could pr pr pretty much manage it. Has a few wee uh, boardwalks through some bits of uh, well, wetlands. Yeah, it's quite lovely. Some really awesome views. Can get a bit muddy if there's been a bit of rain, so always pays to have the right type of footwear, but uh, other than that, it's a great track.
Yeah, so this is one of the boardwalk bits. Sort of goes through some nice wetland. It's actually really well made, this uh, track. It's really nice. Especially on a day like today, it's just beautiful. Just winds its way through the wetland here. Thank you. 
Oh well, guys, we uh, made it to the lockout. It's a beautiful outlook from here. This is the uh, Tyree River heading out towards um, the Tyree Plains here. Then going back that way towards uh, Tyree Mouth. Uh, it's just uh, beautiful up here. It's, it's a bit of a hike up here, so if you are doing this walk, the, uh, the bit of, it's a bit of a hill climb. This, this would be the highest uh, point to uh, climb, I believe, on this walk to the John Bull Gully anyway, so yeah. Yeah, so we just uh, finished our wee, uh, um, wee rest there at the top of the hill. Now we're going to head along the track and get to John Bull Gully. And then we'll put the uh, jug on, have a cup of tea. Maybe a bit of late breakfast as well. Yeah, it's actually turned out to be a really nice day today. Uh, quite pleased because the weather forecast sort of said the day before yesterday that it was going to rain. And then uh, this morning it's... Uh, Perfect sunshine, so great, yeah. So now we're walking through just a wee bit of pine forest. Pretty sure John Bull Gully's not too far away. Which will be nice because I feel like I need a cup of tea.
there we are guys this is John Ball Gully very beautiful wee uh, picnic spot and such a beautiful day today as well uh, well we're gonna stop here and put the jug on have a cup of tea Yeah, this is uh, probably, I reckon, one of Dedeen's best kept secrets, this uh, John Ball Gully. It's just a, a beautiful spot. Just a great spot to bring a picnic and your, your lady. Really beautiful. I'll just get a cup of tea on. Yes, yeah, so the, uh, the stove we're using today is the Sphere 123R, which is in this um, Optimus 88 cook set here, which is uh, one of my little favourite um, sets to take for an excursion. It's really great. Yes, yeah, so this is the uh, Optimus 88 cook set with the Sphere 123. So it comes with a fry pan. Um, Two pots. This is the bigger one, which is the one I normally use to make up a bit of porridge, so I'll be doing that in a minute. Uh, this is the uh, the Espire 123 there. Yes, I was kind of lucky when I got this uh, um, wee cook set with the Espire 123, because it came with the original little um, cap here. You can see how it says 123. Just go quite neat as it's a, a item that a lot of people lose. So I just put the um, the burner assembly on there. There's the burner assembly there. So I'll just put that on on there. So the uh, trick with these stoves is if you don't have anything to prime it with is to uh, cup your hands around it and warm it up and then open the valve and the uh, the uh, Coleman fuel should uh, come out and fill the reservoir and then you can prime it so we're just going to have a go at doing that Yeah, so I'm just going to cut this with my hands and uh, warm it up and I'll, uh, once you get it hotted up you can uh, open the valve and the fuel should come out and fill this reservoir so then we can prime it. So this is a 123R, this one, which is uh, has its own cleaning needle. So before the 123R was the uh, Svar 123, which uh, didn't have the cleaning needle. They're generally more sought after as a collectible stove, but... Uh, this one here being an early 123R is uh, still a good stove. Some of the later versions are made in uh, Taiwan, I believe. They just have Sweden written on them, but not uh, made in Sweden. So if you find ones like this one here has made in Sweden on it, if you find ones like that, they're a good uh, stove to get. Yeah, so we'll just uh, warm this guy up with my hands. Hopefully uh, with a bit of luck we'll get the fuel to come through. Must be getting a bit hotter there, dear. Oh yeah, there we go, the fuel's starting to come through. I'll just uh just pop it back in the uh in the uh, we uh, burner frame here.
So a bit off the end. With my fuel on there, so I'll just click that back in there. There's a little clip that uh, clamps in there, so it's turned off. So we'll just uh, heat that up. It'll be good to go. So I'll just uh, get a bit of porridge. Porridge there. Fill this jug up at the same time here. Probably could have done with priming it a bit more. But it, it will eventually turn to a blue flame. Just put it on a, a low heat for an air. Put in the jug. So put that uh, wind guard on there. So we'll put that uh, porridge on there. So uh, getting close to being ready there. Yeah, so this is uh, organic oats. These are I got from the health food shop. So pretty uh, pretty good for you. That off there now, and uh, we'll uh, put the jug on there. Quite sort of lucky I found a, this uh, pot that I have this uh, jug fits perfectly on this uh, cook set because so, the cook set didn't come with a, a jug, so it just works out perfectly. Yeah, so I normally uh, add a few uh, currants in there. A bit, of, uh, a bit of sugar, just a bit of, a bit of brown sugar there. Just add that there for a bit of sweet sweetness. I'm a little bit of a sweet tooth, I must confess. Uh, I like to probably indulge in a bit too much sugar than I should, really should, but it's all good. Just, uh, I normally like to add an apple as well, so but this one here, it's a called a Royal Gala, these ones here, got a nice um, flavour to them, a bit of a bit of uh, bite you might say, we'll just add that to the, uh, slice that up, got my Swiss Army Army knife here, so just uh, slice that up with that. There's the, uh, the jug boiling there now, so we'll just, uh, we'll just turn the spar off. It's a cup of tea. Put the milk in there. 
That can be all parts. Oh, guys, that's uh, that's it for us for the, today's uh, adventure to John Bull Gully. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a really beautiful spot here. Highly recommend you come and uh, check it out if you can. Uh, and we'll catch you on the next adventure. Cheers.